you know, I've been in Broadway long enough to see kind of the ebb and flow of things and the ups and downs of things. And, and uh, this may be a time that all of us feel uh, is a downtime. I've seen us uh, go from a small gathering on Christmas Eve where we didn't even have enough people to, to have a circle around the sanctuary for the candlelight portion of the service. And now we can find enough seats to seat all the people. It's been so amazing to me over time to watch the way this church has grown and changed and prospered. And I know that God has that in mind for us now, continued growth, continued change. And hopefully, if we continue in His will, continue prosperity. We, we celebrate the sweet story of Christmas, and then we celebrate Easter, and it's through that that we have an empty manger, we have an empty cross, and we have an empty tomb. And it's because of that that we can have hope in Jesus Christ and in the resurrection. In times of any kind of difficulties, we do remember that it's that resurrection because He died for us that we can live all of this. There's still hope for the future, so don't ever give up. And I had a little something I'd like to say about hope because with the pandemic this year, it's been really hard, I know, for a lot of us. And when I read this on Adam's post, Pastor Adam, it just really hit home when he just said on there, there are just going to be days where you just want to give up. But just live for the days that you're glad that you didn't give up. I have lost friends during the pandemic. I lost a really good friend, her son, and I grew up together on the bypass when we were very young. And the worst part of that was a couple of months later, he lost his mother-in-law. So I was trying to, you know, send him verses because we all need that through this challenging time. I did want to uh, read something about hope that I love in the Bible, and I think it's, it's pretty appropriate for this time in Psalm 119, verse 81. It says, my soul longs for your salvation. I hope in your word. And then in uh, 2 Corinthians, therefore, since we have such hope, we are very bold. The candlelight service when the lights were turned out and everyone lit a candle and the singing of Silent Night, the peace and the quietness there just exemplified what we were striving for. And with that, so many blessings from so many people sharing their own ideas and their own stories. It gave us hope. And that song, Because He Lives, I Can Face Tomorrow, culminates the Christmas story that we remember the birth of Christ who made a way for each of us. And throughout all of the ups and downs and the problems and the difficulties that come through life, we can always have the constant that Christ is there. And because He lives, we definitely can face tomorrow.